The Okotoks Centennial Arena is now silent as the Okotoks Oilers called it a season as they fell to Brooks in seven games in the AJHL South Division Final. The Oilers cleaned out their lockers and said their goodbyes shortly after the season was done. There was definitely some regret, but as coach James Poole says, they left it all out on the ice. Uh, I think right now, you know, you see all the kind of the, 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 the promos of the league championship final going on and you're sort of kicking yourself right now because you know, we know we're that close and we kind of feel, uh, you know, it doesn't feel right that our season's over. I, I think we, uh, we're playing such good hockey there at the end of the season that, uh, you know, I think we, it's a little, bit, a little bit tough to see that the season's over and we're, not, we're still not playing. So Rookie sensation John Edward had a great rookie season and an even better playoff, scoring the game-winning goal in six games in the postseason. He says he was really happy with how his season went. Uh, yeah, I, I couldn't really ask for more in my rookie season because uh, to make the South Final against the best team in Canada, you know, it really puts things in perspective, especially uh, to lose by one goal in Game 7, you know, it, it gives you... Uh, it makes you think that we could have gone all the way, for sure. Edward, who really put the team on his shoulders in the playoffs, says he'll have more pressure next year as he'll be one of the leaders, with several veterans graduating from the program. It's, it's going to be exciting. We've got, got a lot of guys coming back. Like We're losing some big guys up front, but hopefully I can uh, fill the shoes there. And uh, like we got a lot of good rookies, too, that maybe didn't see a lot of ice and stuff. So I think we should have a good, pretty good team next year. Well, you figure this this experience this year is uh, going to really help you guys out next year? Uh, yeah, it, it, it could only do anything but help us, really. Uh, like, we were so close and we pretty much had a taste of it, but uh, got, had it taken away from us, so that'll just give us all the more incentive to, to take home the AJ next year. Another standout was goaltender Jared D'Amico, who got red hot at the end of the season and into the playoffs. He talked about the change in the Oilers after Christmas when they became the hottest team in the league down the stretch. I think when it, when it came down to crunch time, we really, you know, we really buckled down and you know, did, did the right things, did the little things. And I think you know, when a team starts to gel and a team gets hot, you just, you just roll. And I think that was the biggest thing. Well, seven of this year's Oilers won't be back next year with young players like Edward and D'Amico in the lineup. The future bodes well for this Oilers team stocked with young talent.